Hey descendants, welcome back to Crimson Sands. In today's video, we are going to share with you the most recent update from the 12th of September to the 14th of September. And in this update, it's going to cover the serious patch fix on the Ottoman weapons and some of the serious characters that we are using like Ajax, like Haley, and like Eugene. Also, they are going to bring out the latest daily challenges where you can get a lot more rewards every single day. And I believe it's going to be very easy for most of the players if you're just doing some routine work. Not only that, do we for do we not only that, do we mention there's 50% weapon proficiency rate? It's going to be boost in the infiltration operations. So yeah. Don't forget to go to the infiltration operation with your newly updated weapon. So what are you waiting for? We are going to share with you all the details in the video today. And at the same time, hit the subscribe button. Let us know what you think um, about how we do and what you think about the first descendant in the comment below. And we are going to work on a lot more content for you every single day. Hey, hey, descendant, welcome back to Crimson Sands. And today I'm going to share with you the most recent updates from the 12th of September to today, 14th of September. Um, the first descendant developers have released several updates and notes in the past few days, and I'm going to cover uh, most of them today. So, first of all, I just want to quickly touch upon like that, what you can see on the screen. Every day from the 12th of September to the 25th of September until so this time is Pacific time, midnight Pacific time until 25th of September. Every single day you will need to do you can do this daily challenge, then you can get these rewards. Okay, I just checked, I'm not sure I can find them after I entered again. Okay, this is something that we do like every day. It's, it's definitely can, will be done every day when we are doing our if we, we log in every day to do our daily daily um day, day, daily tasks or daily things that are just routine. You see like the four regional missions is very very basic to avoid intercept battles. It's also kind of like common because if you want to farm something, it's also something that you can do. Complete one research that we are all doing, well, at least we are doing energy activator and catalyst research every day. And complete one infiltration operations. So it, it you know, the two infiltration operations in every map so yes it's quite basic so if you can do complete all this the, even if because they also include the normal normal maps normal difficulties so even if you are in the beginning of the game just complete them it will be really helpful especially this one after you complete one research you will get descendant xp gain or 30 percent that is a lot if you are still working on your descendant so this is um their 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 event that's coming that's happening right now so that's the first thing okay so this is the first thing second thing is the in-game buff okay so i believe you should also notice this 50 percent weapon proficiency boost in infiltration operation so if you want to level up your weapon this is the time but also from the 12th to the 25th of september 50 percent weapon proficiency boost and okay so this is the first two updates that happened in, from the 12th of september also there's some patch note 
for the console. So most of the updates I'm looking at right now on the page, most of the updates are very um, console related console, meaning Steam, Xbox series, Xbox One, PS4, PS5 console players. Like myself, we are using Xbox Series One, um, Xbox Series X. Sorry, <laughs> Xbox Series X. So these patch notes are uh, pretty helpful for us. So, for example, there was an issue when option values were were incorrectly applied to the restored Ottoman weapons after they were dismantled. So this was fixed. Okay, um, I don't think it is it, it affects us much. So, but anyway, that's good. Something to, something was fixed is always a good sign. And then another thing is that they talk about the um, holiday. So in South Korea, where the the developers is at, um, they are going to have a holiday called Chinsuk holiday, and. So they are saying since the game was released, uh, basically the team hasn't stopped working. They will have been released patch notes every week. So next weekend they will there is they will not have another patch note next weekend. So just to have a short break for the developer team, and as I think we'll we can notice the the team has really working hard try to make the game right for most of the players especially a lot of players have played Warframe um, experience in Destiny or Dauntless this kind of action strategic game so I'm sure they are under a lot of pressure but at the same time at the same time um, I, I think we are we can see that they try to do good for the game so <clears throat> yeah, I prefer Ajax. <laughs> okay, so so they are going to have a short break. Um, however, uh, we can be rest assured that there is going to be a second update for season one of the first Descendant. It was scheduled for October tenth, and it is not going to be delayed. Everything will still be on track, even if they have this short break. So we were rest assured of that. So that's another good news. Another thing is another fix of some of um, this fix. I think it's quite important actually. This fix is about the Ottoman weapons. So we are no longer, we cannot, we cannot filter or select the Ottoman weapon as a junk anymore. We are not able to dismantle them as well because basically we are not able to um, we, we won't be able to find them from the drops anyway. We need to bomb materials to get these Ottoman weapons. So so basically it's, um, unless we work on this we will not have duplicate. And the same, so that's why at the same time we are not able to this. The developers decide it is not reasonable that we can, because they don't believe, and I also don't believe that anyone will want to, bring bring your hard earned, ultimate weapon. So when you, I'm on Xbox, so I right trigger. I'm not able to select this. That's one thing. Meaning in the past few days, if you. In the past few days, if you ever dismantled your Ottoman weapon accidentally, the first descendant team they will restore the dismantled weapon and then you will be able to find them. You don't need to send me any tickets. You will just be able to find them from your mailbox. Okay, so you will just be able to find them from your mailbox. You will um you don't need to ask for 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 them to do anything they will just do it for you that is a very very nice gesture from the nixon team so anyway so in the future ultimate weapon you cannot you cannot dismantle them anymore that's another update they have decided to do okay so the big the weekly hot fix 
at the 1.1.2 or before I talk about that just quickly bring up about um they tackle the abusive users there is a list of abusive users from 6 to 12 of September they have um, banned them, barred them, um, kicked them out of the game so seriously I don't understand why, what's the purpose of anyone playing the game when you are trying to cheat or to be abusive to, to <clears throat> like you really have so much time that you can you can just waste on having all those behaviors and playing your game and also having your um, normal daily life I, I don't have we, we don't have much time for that so I don't know how you do that if you are able to to uh, do all of this and to, you know to, to live your life and to play the game to enjoy your game and then at the same time to invest a lot more energy on being abusive or cheating on the game lucky you okay seriously it's, it just doesn't worth it you know why is what where is the fun you know I, I don't understand basically myself but anyway um like every other developers Nixons they are also taking it very seriously so if you are being reported abusive um, or any abnormal behaviors then you may be barred from the game that is another thing just for the players to note okay so what is the 1.1.2 hot note hot fix so of course it was released on the 12th of September and we dug around this a little bit <clears throat> and then we just found we, we just quickly go through the points for you and hopefully we don't miss anything because <clears throat> There's something that we only found out today, but we, we didn't notice that earlier. Okay, first of all, there's no more dungeon penalties in invasions, so so it's less punishing. Like the invasion, right? It's already ridiculous that you can only do it on the single player. You cannot be in a party, and then you need to do it yourself. Of course. Well, even before the update, I need to say, I'm not very good at playing the game. Even before the update, I'm able to solo the invasion. Um, of course, the build is very important. But just saying, okay, um, of course now it's a lot a lot easier. And now that even making it it's even, even less punishing, meaning, <clears throat> meaning um, you will not get punishment by using any weapon or by dodging attacks or by using the grappling hook okay um a lot of all those punishment were um were dismissed so so it's you you should be you should find it a lot easier like oh you may be taking less you are taking less damage than before or if yeah so i i don't know how i did it but yeah, <clears throat> and then you feel like oh yeah, it seems like you have a little bit more bullet ammo, um, and then you feel like you can attack a bit, like like you are you are you are able to perform better damage, and you are able to take less damage when you are under attack, and your movement speed is um, maybe a little bit faster as well. So that's one of the good thing and so that's for the invasion part when you are in the invasion so so that's a music to our ears another good thing is about the 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 healing the hp and mp orbs okay so what they do is uh, in the intercept battle the space-time fabric of the void is extremely in logical. both normal in both in, in both normal and hard battle in both normal and hard battles um we are going to when, when they drop the hp and mp orbs you are able to get a little bit more blood 
a little bit more MP back <clears throat> when you pick them up. So that's another good thing for the players. <clears throat> so so yeah, that's a lot, another good thing for the players. Another thing is about the boss difficulties. So the dead bride, okay, for for both normal and hard dead bride, they are lower the difficulties. So they will decrease the frequency of the teleport when she's in the frenzied mode, decrease the range of the snowstorm when the the snowstorm meaning the veil consisting of chill. So when she is using this veil, um, the damage will be reduced as well, meaning less damage than before, and decrease the part HP of the amplifier. So that's for the dead bride. And then on the normal difficulty for the handman, handman with the handman. So the last of the normal difficulty, the handman, okay, they also lower the difficulties. They greatly reduce the part HP of his move called the charger, meaning when the object inside the mouse attacks while frenzied, okay, so so that's greatly reduced and also greatly reduced the damage of the thunder wave the wave of thunder emanating from the center okay and they will also greatly reduce the damage of the charging laser the, the laser fired from the mouse when you fail to destroy the charger okay, so the damage also reduced I wish I go in here to show you, but if I go in here to show you, I won't be able to finish this video today. So, so um, you can do, always go to try it. Okay, go to try. Meaning, uh, it be the difficulty is a bit less. Okay, they also decrease the damage when when there's a thunderbolt occurs when he's in frenzy mode, and they also decrease the duration of his electric cannon. Hopefully, uh, if you have been if you have been stuck on this stage, then hopefully after all this change, you are able to swim through. Okay, <laughs> hopefully you are able to do that. They also lower the difficulty of the deception transmitter mission at the Sterilized Rock Phone. Okay, so this is the Sterilized map. So this mission, they also Decrease the difficulty. I don't know why is the reason. Um, maybe I will give you a try later. But yeah, that's what they do. And there, let me see. Okay. Uh, also, one thing that is one thing I'm very excited about, and I need to try that myself as well. The knockdown damage will not occur in a row when damaged by traps. Okay, what does that mean? So I think that means because when you are in a mission, right? <clears throat> when you are in the infiltration, um, when you are going through some missions in the infiltration, some of the missions they do have the lasers. Uh, for example, Pago is the old mystery, right? You go through the lasers, and then a lot of the time. I will be killed by the lasers instead of the boss or the monsters or the vulgars, whatever you call it. Right? You got knocked down by the laser and then when you try to get up and then you got knocked down by the lasers again. <laughs> it's just not possible and you just be killed eventually. And I think they say the knockdown damage will not occur anymore in a row. It will not occur in a row anymore when you are damaged by the traps. So I hope that's what they mean, and then that'll be a lot better for most of the players if you cannot go through the first time, because if you cannot go through the first time, then basically you'll be trapped and killed. Okay, and then they make the monster spawn faster in the extermination mission of the hard infiltration, echo swamp. Okay. Yeah, so what they say is they spawn faster in no part of this mission yeah a lot of players like to use bunnies or like volbeats like um some other characters you 
like you can one second going through everything and then now and then sometimes when you need to wait like you need to kill how many how many monsters before you can go through the next stage sometimes you just need to wait right so for for players like bunnies volby lovers then i think it's a uh, good news for you so the the spawn is going to be faster and then also they are go they lowered the required amount for the collection missions yep so if you're going to collect like batteries or anything uh, maybe 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 initially it was 15 and now they'll be reduced to 10. I think a lot of people know design the invasion as well. Okay, and uh, in the data collection mission of the hard old mystery, now you don't need to collect the data anymore. You will just they change this to traversal mission. Traversal mission. Basically a lot of things I think um, some of us, uh, many players, you will notice um, in the infiltrations, they make some changes. So you just feel like eh, it's a lot faster to go in through all these missions, like a lot faster than before. Um, a lot less gimmick. I think that's what they're trying to do. They don't want to have all these different type of um, things in the mission anymore. I'm not sure about that. I basically, personally, myself, because I'm not. Um, I I like this game because um, it's you no, know, it's not a pure shooting game. You know what I mean. So those gimmicks for me is actually they're actually quite interesting, and just make the game a bit more fun. So now they are going to reduce all those that you call gimmick. I'm not sure why I feel about this. We will see, and then we will see how it goes because we know um, the developers they listen and they will try to update um, to make the game is more. Um, how do you say that? To make sure that people will stay on this game a bit longer. So we will see. We will see. Um, please also let me know why you feel about this decision. Like they are going to make it less gimmick, meaning a lot of interesting part of the games will be removed or well, they're interesting for me anyway um yeah so so that's one of the decisions they made and then it's already um updated in the game like i just mentioned okay in the invasion lego of immortality the maximum distance for feeding article brains to the quantum computing unit has been changed from two meter to 3.5 meter 3.5 meter okay um i i don't think that that means much to me because i always make sure that i just kiss that <laughs> i always make sure after i collect all of this how do you call them again after i collect all of these artificial brains I would just kiss the computing unit okay but anyway so that's just make the game a little bit easier okay. so because we know a lot of people have been crying about the difficulties of the invasion you know for me personally i'd rather to keep the difficulties and allow allow multiplayer you know what i mean or even make it even make it a bit more difficult but allowing the multiplayer then make it a little bit easier because yeah <laughs> it, it's sometimes not as fun isn't isn't it it's not as fun so anyway that's why i think also share please share with me how you feel about about this um they keep the single player so you can only do single player still but then try to make it easier okay next um, they added sniper monsters to the fortress void fragment mission to prevent simple macros <laughs> I don't know what they mean because like our our on the stage of mastery 26 so most of things are 
pretty easy now for us we're just trying to continue to increase the mastery levels to get more slots i mentioned in the previous video because you you can really do free to play it is a really a free to play friendly game you don't really need to buy anything anything if you purchase is either just purchase the 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 characters straight away without farming them or to purchase those all these skins to purchase uh, the pens to purchase the storage slots inventory slots that's what you do that's yeah but if you don't want to spend any money any they just need to progress in the game that you get more inventory slots storage slots so yeah they they add sniper i hate snipers seriously so many times you just got killed by the snipers okay anyway so let's move on they also changed the aim assist for the console players that's really 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 important the m assist is used to be very very bad so it used to be like um they will automatically turn towards a nearby monster or focus on the enemy's torso when we want to attack their weak points right it's just not not easy for us to control you know compared with those pc players it's just totally different experience for console players so now they're making the change for the m assist so to make it easier for console players to to aim and you know to do the sniping and to aim at a weak point so hopefully the game will be a little bit more better for the console players or for for me you know like i'm like i said i'm not a very like aiming person <laughs> so I hope, yeah, we, we will try this M assist because we turned it off in the past few weeks because, um, well, we, we just shared earlier. So, so that's what we did, um, what they did. Okay, the M assist change update. Um, also they added page 13 to the season one battle pass with, with the catalyst and energy activator as a reward. So if you have battle pass and if we feel like okay we got it already yes. so that's uh so previously we they only have until the page 12 okay and page 13 so this is a newly added this two is very important for us to continue upgrade and um enhance our weapon and our characters these two like we are researching them every day every second every hours if we can that's what we do okay so that's the update on the general game experience performance part they're also going to not going to they have done it they also enhance the ultimate weapons which is very good because actually just two weeks ago just before this update we found we, we picked up a rifle we picked up a beam rifle basically and then it's everything's a lot better than the king's guard lens you know and the king's guard lens is supposed to be very good because it's supposed to be um where's the king's guard that one okay so it's supposed to be a very good um, weapon and then we picked up a rare one and have everything better than this one and it's just not reasonable and at that time I remember we were talking about oh um, with the developer should be um, they should update uh, do a patch note on this and they did and they did it immediately after we mentioned that <laughs> in our living room so, so 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 that's one thing okay so what are the update what weapons have been updated okay basically um there are a few things a wave of light okay, let me see what can i do uh, i go to the library part 
I don't even know where to find the library. I never really go into it. Okay. The library part. Okay. So first of all, they enhance the wave of light. The scout rifle. That one. Okay, they decrease the recoil, increase the critical hit rate, and add a new dusk mechanic that triggers additional effects. Okay, and then the second one is the King's Guard that I just mentioned, the King's Guard lens. So, the update is they increase their fire rate, they faster the charge time, and the ability to place multiple guardian lenses that automatically attack enemies. So you can place um, guardian lens on the floor and then they will create a small circle to attack enemies which is uh, they are very unique rifle um, acting more like um, like Jaber <laughs> like like you have a Jaber on your hand yeah and then the next is the executor the shotgun the executor okay uh, here so they improve the accuracy they remove downsides to the executor's exaltation effect and they increase the damage at maximum stacks okay that's what they did for the executor the shotgun peacemaker hmm is it that we we haven't had it no okay we need to form it so the peacemaker the hand cannon the single reload for peace effect now triggers with fusion skills and its effectiveness has been increased. Okay, I'm looking forward to form this and then to, to try this out because for now I haven't found a good um, hand cannon really. Um, so, so, so it'd be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, the last but not least is this important new Exava not here no not here Exava let's see okay not here that one Exava if that's how you call it the assault rifle so this is the latest the latest added weapon to the game so they adjusted to grant the energy grenade effect faster and increase its damage potential so basically they just enhance all of these five weapons or these five ultimate weapons to make it even better so so there's the difference between ultimate and the rare weapons which is what they what it should be anyway okay so that's on the weapon and they also did a very big update or i think it's big update on how you do the junk filter so now you will see when you will need to select the equipment options to exclude from junk okay select the equipment option to exclude from junk meaning whatever you select will not become junk so if you don't select anything uh, I'm not sure if if you don't select anything then how do you how should you use it then you will need just need to be careful okay you, you need to be careful how you how you do this okay excluded junk so you need to choose what you want to keep okay so if you want to keep everything rare and higher i don't think we need to keep anything rare as well so that means i will keep them okay and anything that's below this will be removed okay same for the weapon right if you have re if you already got all the weapons then you can select um like you don't want to pick up any weapon anymore because they just consume your very limited inventory space then you can just 
、um, have the setting like this, then everything that's all including level 100 rare tier weapon will be selected as junk.、Um, so, this update is pretty important and a little bit it's easy to confuse people. So, we suggest you just always double check before you always double check, right? Before you, before you confirm to dismantle them. Okay, I will double check in case. But for now, we will not use the junk filter because we're still trying to work on our、um, levels. Okay, so so that's about the the、um, filter, and then now.、Um, Please may not notice, but I, it, it, I noticed this a long time ago. So before, if you want to go to map, right, you need to come out and then go to map. But now you can just go to choose like you don't need to come out of the menu anymore. <laughs> you can just do it like this, a lot easier. It's all about efficiency, okay. For some people, I think for most people, they don't even notice it. But I'm, for me, I'm all about efficiency. So it is, yes, I noticed that straight away. Another thing is hotkey customization. You are able to bind your hotkeys for favorite, for various menus like library or consumable. Um, I haven't really checked on the hotkeys. So,、um, if you have any feedback about the hot hot keys, please also share with us. We would like to know what you think. But for now,、um, that's not really、um, our priority to to、uh, messing around with the hot keys. I believe it for professional players, especially.、Um, of course, you can see the a lot of UI enhancements just. Generally, on the display, you know, on the on the, all the different displays, it's a bit more fluent. So they enhance the the user experience, the game performance.、Uh, of course, they always they have fixed some minor bugs that we don't need to mention here.、Uh, one another thing is about the update things about Ajax. Haley and Eugene. Okay, about Hi Ajax, right? They say they. Let me tell you how I managed to come back from the world. So there, they said there was an issue, but of course it's not an issue for us. But anyway, they said there was an issue where the effect remains. When Ajax barriers is immediately destroyed at the time it is created, so meaning sometimes when you create the 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 barrier, <clears throat> it's um sometimes if the monster is too strong for you, it will be destroyed immediately, and we happened the effect still remains, so they now remove that. <laughs> of course. Of course, we will say you, you you can keep it. That's fine. <laughs> Let me tell you. You don't need to worry about the English on that. Secondly, it's about the Haley. It's the Haley. Target okay. confirmed. Okay, but Haley, the Zenith skill. It is fine. But when he uses the skill. Okay, so when Zenith uses this skill, it is now affected by the movement speed of her current weapon instead of her unique weapon. So it just allows the her her arc pace maker effect of the inversion reinforcement to be properly applied. Um, it's just technical things, but anyway, the movement speed of Your weapon, the weapon she's using, will be a bit more important,、um, especially in the boss fight. You need to make sure you are holding the right weapon with、um, better movement speed. 
Okay, so that's the fix for confirmed. the Haley. And for Eugene, what? I think. We're what do you have to the base, so we can play Eugene. We had uh, him, and then we let him go. <laughs> my dream is for you all not to um, hurt. When he's healing, so what they do is he's the map person. So what they do is, if the max HP of an ally healed by Eugene is less than one. The amount of recovery is now calculated based on the target's max energy shield. So if I'm healed by Eugene, um, the amount of recovery will be calculated based on my max energy shield. Okay, so so that's that. Okay. Um they also fixed the issue when King's Guard lands blocked enemies' projectiles. Right. Okay. So meaning you cannot block enemies for you all not to get hurt anymore when you play the King's but Guard. Nothing lands. at all will get to me. <laughs> okay. So that's the thing. Okay, that's what we want to share with you about the first, the latest update from Nixon, and um, of course. Please show with us how you feel about the update and uh, if there's any request you want us to try as well or or if you have any questions or if I say anything wrong feel free please correct me and then share your information with the fellow gamers it'd be very very nice of you and thank you very much like, again I'm very um, I, I do actually enjoy this first descendant game more a lot more than i expected yeah uh, for me just like another <sighs> very similar to dreams for you all not uh, to get for hurt. me and um, people play dance that's me saying that it's me. very similar to destiny and they will say it's very similar to warframe so um yeah we hope it's not going to we are not going to be bored about this game soon and we 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 do appreciate um, everyone's support uh, throughout this time for the Crimson Sun. And yep, yeah, we just want to say thank you very much. And then doesn't matter if it's about the Descendant or about Ascendant or about other games. Um, I hope we are able to cover as many uh, as we can. And thank you very much. For everything, my dreams for you, for you all not to get hurt. Have a very good day, evening, and week. But nothing at all will get to me.